Hello everybody. Have you ever needed to exchange data between a PLC and a computer program? Assuming that you have written a code in MATLAB, C, Visual Basic, uh, and you want to send a message to the PLC and expect to receive a response, how can you do that? In this video, I'm going to show you how we can easily send and receive ASCII data between your computer program and an Allen Bradley PLC. In this experiment, uh, I'm going to use a Control Logix PLC and RS Logix 5000 software. Uh, in the computer side, uh, I'm going to use Hyper Terminal uh, to communicate with PLC. Shown in this figure is the required physical interconnection between the PLC modules and the PC. The CPU module uh, has an inbuilt uh, serial port which is normally used for programming. However, since we in intend to use that port for sending and receiving ASCII data, we need another communication module namely an Ethernet IP uh, so that we can go online to the PLC and do the programming. Assume that we are online with the PLC and we have a simple ladder logic here. In the IO configuration folder first I'm going to choose the CPU module and then I'm going to go to the properties window. Here among all these tabs I just need to check the serial port tab and the user portable tab. In the serial port tab, first uh, I need to change the mode from system to user so that I can take the control of the serial port. Uh, for the rest of the settings, I am going to keep them as they are. Then apply and yes. Then in the user protocol tab, you can see other settings, for example, the buffer size, which indicates the size of the buffer that stores the sent and received data. Let me uh, start the Microsoft Hyper Terminal. This is the easiest way to exchange data between PLC and your computer. The port number here. Uh, the port settings must match those of the PLC. Now we are ready to exchange data with the PLC. Sending data from PLC to the computer. So first I am going to add a new run here in beat tab the contact and one shot rise and in the ASCII serial port I'm going to select the ASCII write instruction here I'm going to add some new tags I intend to activate the ASCII write instruction on the rising edge of the trick write bit and for the ASCII write instruction in the channel number zero for the source a variable of type string in which uh, I will write my desired message so here I need to change the type to string okay and I need to assign a new tag of type serial port control here okay now let's download this new run to the PLC okay now we are ready to send a message to the hyper terminal which is waiting for our string for example hello word 
is my desired message here I toggle the trick right bit and next I'm gonna go to the hyper terminal there you go we have got the message here sending data from the computer to the PLC first I need to add a new one here from ASCII serial port tab the ASCII read instruction and from bit tab a contact and one shot rise similar to the previous one I'm going to assign some tags here and for the ASCII read instruction for the channel number zero destination again is a variable of type string in which the received message is stored so here I change the type to string and for the serial port counter I'm going to assign the existing tag SPC now let me download the new one to the PLC now I'm going to the hyper terminal to send a message to the PLC here let's first go to the properties settings ASCII setup and enable the echo typed characters locally so that we can see what we are writing hello PLC is my desired message now here I'm going to activate the trick read bit and let me check the read ASCII there you go we have got the message from hyper terminal 